Hi everyone, this is Josephine from Design by Josephine and Josie and today's video is a spring time tablescape video and this video of course is featuring this beautiful sets of cabbage plates that my mom and I got at the antique shop a few months ago I did do a haul video featuring these beautiful sets of china plates and if you want to see that video I'm gonna go ahead and link it down below in the description box so after you finish watching this video you can definitely check out the other video where I featured these beautiful cabbage plate sets and they are just absolutely gorgeous so i finally get to use the cabbage plate sets in this beautiful tablescape today i really wanted to create a very simple casual elegant tablescape but of course with a touch of elegance and a touch of sophistication which is my style but i also just wanted to keep it very casual and so that is the reason why i am here in the kitchen and I have decided to go ahead and create this beautiful tablescape in the kitchen. So um, it is, like I've mentioned, casual. I didn't really do um, a big centerpiece that I usually do, but it is still gorgeous. So before I get into all of the details of this beautiful tablescape, I wanted to say that if this is your first time, watching one of my videos i want to say welcome i upload videos once a week in my channel and if you are into tablescapes home decor and also gardening and how to entertain at home videos you can definitely subscribe to my channel it is free and if you are a returning subscriber and you're watching one of my videos again i want to say welcome back mm -hmm. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. And once you subscribe to my channel, there's this little bell right next to the subscription button. Just click on the bell and click on the word all. So that way you will get a notification when I upload new videos on my channel. And like I have mentioned in my other videos, I'm trying to see if I can post videos two times a week. So of course I am trying and of course, um, I've been having fun creating these videos and it's really encouraging to see all of the wonderful positive feedback that I have been getting from my wonderful friends here on YouTube, from my wonderful subscribers, and I'll continue to do more videos. Now before I even get in today's video, I do want to mention that um, of course I do a fashion segment in all of my videos. And so I am going to be talking about this beautiful dress and this outfit that I am wearing in today's video. And that is going to be towards the end of the video where I share more details about the dress that I'm wearing in today's video and about the necklace and the jewelry and everything else. So now let me go ahead and get started in today's tablescape okay everyone so of course i always start off my tablescape videos with the foundation and of course if you've been watching a lot of my tablescape videos you know that i love to use a beautiful tablecloth uh, within my tablescapes i just love using tablecloths because they add a very elegant touch to a tablescape and for today's video i am using this beautiful tablecloth from lennox it is just absolutely gorgeous. It have lots of different flower uh, patterns on there, lots of different flowers on there as well. There's uh, blue flowers and uh, purple flowers and pink flowers, and it's just really whimsical. And there's also different insects. There's bees and also some um, dragonflies and also butterflies as well and so I just love this because it really truly reminds me of spring and summer and it gives a very whimsical touch and this tablecloth of course I have used in another tablescape if you want to check out the tablescape that I have 
uh, done using this tablecloth. I will be linking it down below in the description box. And of course, I love using tablecloth with patterns because it adds a very whimsical touch to the tablescape. Now, as far as the placemat, um, I am using this beautiful placemat um, that my mom and I got a few months ago. And I am just going to go ahead and set it here. And I really wanted to use this straw placemat because I really wanted to add an element of natural um, type of texture to the tablescape. And so this is the reason why I have used this beautiful cloth or this beautiful straw place mat. I just love it. And I really love using these place mats for spring and summer tablescapes. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and talk about the star of the show, which is this beautiful dinner plate that my mom and I got at the antique shop. And I just love this cabbage plate. And of course, I am going to include all of the set in uh, my tablescape. And I just love this. I just think this looks absolutely gorgeous. It is such a gorgeous, gorgeous plate. I just love it. I love the color. I love the design of that cabbage design. And it is a mauve color, which is just gorgeous. And so now I am going to go ahead and share the salad plate that I'm going to be using. And of course, if you have been watching my videos for a while, you know that I love to mix and match. And so I am using this beautiful salad plate. And this one is from Portugal. Okay, so here is, okay, it's made in Portugal. Absolutely gorgeous. I got this from the antique shop as well. Now I wanted to also share the name of this plate. Let me go ahead and turn it around so you can see. And I just love this. I just think it just looks so pretty. And putting this together with this, I think looks so gorgeous and it gives it that very elegant look. And I love the color combination as well with that mauve and green. It just looks so pretty. Now for the soup bowl, I am using the same set of the dinner plates. Um, is the exact same set. And here is the soup bowl. Again with that cabbage design. And I'm going to be setting it right here. And I just think this looks absolutely gorgeous. Again, it gives it that very whimsical look for spring. And I just love how everything looked together. Now, I also wanted to talk about this beautiful mug that came with the set. And I just think this looks pretty as well. As you can see, it has that cabbage design on there. And as far as glassware, I am using this beautiful green wine glass, which looks absolutely gorgeous as well. And I love how the color just goes with the tablescape. And for the water glass, I am using this glass right here, which have a floral design on there. And I just love the design on this water glass. It just looks so pretty. And as far as the silverware, I am using this beautiful silverware from Royal Dalton. I really love the design, of course, on here. I think it goes really nice with the cabbage plates. And for the napkin, I have decided to go ahead and use um, this beautiful cloth napkin that my mom and I got. Now, this is a beautiful cloth napkin that has some gardening uh, 
pattern on there and there's different types of uh, gardening uh, tools and also there's some uh, flowers in a pot right here so there's different types of uh, patterns on here there's a bench right here and there's some gardening tools here so again I just love this uh, napkin because of the green and the white color and of course for the napkin ring I have used this one right here because of the natural texture because uh, it goes really well with the placemat and I just love how everything looks I really truly love the look of this it looks very whimsical it looks very sophisticated and so now I am going to go over the centerpiece so here is this beautiful centerpiece and as you can see um, it, there's no there's no crystal vase so I decided not to do any type of vase um, in today's tablescape because I really wanted to keep it simple and I wanted it to have a very casual look but a simple look as well and I have decided to just go ahead and create this beautiful centerpiece and um, I basically took some garland and just gathered it up in the middle of the table and then tucked in all different types of hydrangeas as you can see there's the green there's a pink and there's a mauve color hydrangea that really matches the color theme of the tablescape and I also added different types of greenery and it just looks so pretty and I really truly love this type of look because um, of course I always try to do a grand um, centerpiece with a beautiful crystal vase in the middle or some type of vase in the middle it doesn't even have to be crystal uh, but I usually try to do a grand centerpiece but in today's video I really did not want to do a grand centerpiece I wanted to just keep it simple and I just think it looks absolutely gorgeous now of course with my bigger centerpieces I leave it there for my guests to admire and then once my guests gets um, inside and they you know all of my guests have arrived and they have admired the centerpiece then I basically create a smaller centerpiece for me to put in the middle of the table so that way you know my guests could actually see each other while they're talking but I love to create beautiful big centerpieces um, for my guests to admire once when they first come in and then later on when everybody gets settled down I'll take it out and I'll put a smaller centerpiece but of course in this instance I don't have to do that because the centerpiece is really small and I just love how this looks I love everything about it and I think it goes really beautifully with the tablescape <music>
Okay, everyone. So here is the fashion portion of today's video. So I always try to include a little bit of fashion in all of my videos because I know that a lot of you have been asking me questions about the outfits that I have been wearing in my videos. So today's dress is a very whimsical dress and it's a very, I would say, boho chic, grand millennial type of style dress. I just love these type of dresses that have the smocking detail and they can be dressed up or dressed down. Um, they can be worn with heels or sandals and today I am actually wearing this dress with my espadrilles and they just look absolutely gorgeous with the dress. Now, of course, like I've mentioned, this dress is uh, very whimsical and it has that boho chic grand millennial type of look. And I actually paired it with this beautiful cameo necklace that have a little bit of a gold and pearl detail, uh, as you can see. And this is a necklace that I think I got at Macy's a long time ago. I just love wearing cameo jewelry because it kind of gives the outfit a very elegant look and it also gives it a very timeless look as well and it looks very sophisticated. So again, I just love this cameo necklace and I love pairing it with this type of dress. Now, of course I have many dresses with this silhouette because I love this silhouette. I really love the ruffling detail here and there is a tie detail in the front and of course the puff sleeves and the color of this dress is more of a burgundy and it has like that ditzy floral um, pattern on it with the white flowers and it just looks so pretty and it is very comfortable and like I have mentioned it have the puff sleeves and it's the perfect dress for spring and also for summer and it is a maxi dress it is long and I just love wearing it because it is very comfortable it is elegant and it is sophisticated and it's really um, a regal looking dress and if I wanted to do the boho chic look I can definitely pair it with some tassel earrings um, if I wanted to do the grand millennial look which is the look that I am doing for today I just put it with this beautiful um, cameo necklace and my earrings and of course I've actually worn these earrings um, in other uh, videos and I just love wearing this particular earring with some of my outfits because it really brings the outfit together and make the outfit look very elegant. Now I got this dress from Shein. I'm not really sure if Shein actually have this dress still available but I am going to see if I can find a dress that's very similar and I'm going to link it down below in the description box. And so now let me go ahead and continue with the tablescape. Okay, so thank you so much for watching this spring tablescape video. And like I have mentioned, this is a very whimsical tablescape. It looks absolutely gorgeous for spring and for summer. And I just love using this beautiful cabbage set and then mixing and matching it with the other cabbage plate that I found at the antique shop. It just looks so pretty and I just love the colors of the pink, the green, and also the blue and I just love also the pattern that is on the tablecloth itself and if you are looking for similar items to put into your tablescape like I have mentioned in all of my videos all of my tablescapes are for you to copy I'm gonna go ahead and leave some links down below in the description box and you can definitely check out my Amazon store I am adding more and more items into my Amazon store and I'm going to see if I can find um, some items that are very similar in today's tablescape and add them to my Amazon store so you can actually copy this tablescape and like I have mentioned um, this is a very elegant tablescape and I'll be doing more and you can definitely follow me in all of my social media all of my social media link is going to be down below in the description box and of course more details about this dress or a dress that is very similar is going to be down below in the description box and you can definitely 
Um, also join my Facebook group. It is a really fun group where we post pictures and I share my videos and we also have other YouTubers as well that do home decor, tablescapes, and um, gardening videos and also um, how to entertain at home videos. They also put their videos in that Facebook group. So the link to that Facebook group is going to be down below in the description box. And that is it for today's video. And let me know what you think about this tablescape. And also, are you planning to do a dinner party for spring? Or if you have done a dinner party for spring, what type of color theme did you use for your tablescape? I would definitely like to know. So that is it for today's video. And I will be doing more home decor videos more gardening videos, more tablescape videos, and more how to entertain at home videos. Bye-bye and God bless.